Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Just in, Governor Bello advises Nigerian government against wasting 540 billion naira on the COVID vaccine. If you don't know Governor Bello, he's the governor of Kogi State and um, an APC governor. Yet is the person kicking against Nigerian government spending 540 billion naira on acquiring this vaccine, which Nigerian government has said is compulsory for all Nigerian citizens to take it as soon as he arrives. Yesterday, we brought you up to speed that the Nigerian government has made it compulsory. However, they are in the dilemma of how to preserve this vaccine, especially with our uh, geographical terrain. We know that this is kept under minus 60 degree and they are speaking with the manufacturers and ha on how they can uh, produce the one that will be uh, climate friendly in terms of our hot geopolitical zone uh, with regards to uh, comparing to Europe and America where we have cooler climates. Governor Bello Yahaya of Kogi State is saying to the federal government, I find it totally unnecessary. Remember when the whole uh, issue started and he said there was not a single case in his um, state, you know, so it does not see the relevance of the federal government spending such an amount of money on what we count irrelevance. Let's continue. Governor Yahaya has advised the Nigerian government against wasting 540 billion in its plan to purchase the vaccine. He asks why making guest appearance on China's television breakfast program Sunrise Daily. Bello described current effort as procuring vaccines as unnecessarily, noting that he was not on the same page with the presidential tax force on this matter. He said these are all gainsaying and mimicking all in a waste to spend and waste the country's money for foreign products. I'm not on the same page with the PF, with the PTF, and even with the federal government. I have sent a special message to the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria that this is totally and completely unnecessarily. Should we go the route? All these branches we are discovering, we are talking about, is not really prevalent in Nigeria today. Buhari's aide should advise him, for the fear of God, let the people be free. Don't make anything compulsory telling them they have to take a vaccination they have not or agreed to. Asking to share his thoughts on the government response to the second wave of the pandemic, Bello, who earlier asked to be excused from discussing the issue, later said he was not able to share his position on this so-called matter. I am not about to swift my position. We have no COVID-19 in Kogi State. And I can tell you all that is happening, those who have said they have anything, is an underlining health factor. And so when there is anything particular that comes around, it just affects them. It's not any vaccine, so to say, in Nigeria. I am not about to shift my position. After one month of working with the Kogi incident management team, no single person was confirmed positive. We refused to lock down Kogi. It's safe, even though the borders, it bordered around 10 states. Rapid Nigeria has repeated how Governor Bello turned down $1 billion set aside for Kogi State by the federal government grants that it was given to all the states, the sea states of the Federation, to combat COVID-19. Governor Bello said he's not interested in the $1 billion and has rejected it. So my people, Governor Bello has given his strong position on the issue on what is on ground presently. And as told the federal government, all you are saying is cock bull story. There is no reality in exactly what you are saying. Why would they make it compulsory? Take, for instance, in Kogi State for today, we don't have a single case. Why are you saying it has to be compulsory? Nigerians, Nigerians have to be vaccinated at all costs. Except for starters, there is not a single case in Nigeria. 
In Kogi, for example, that his position still remains very standard. He's not even going after money. You know, all the states in Nigeria, we are giving a, million, a billion naira each. Kogi state did not take the money. He said because he feels this is complete waste. And I said, it's not part and parcel of anything we have to do with. All that they are saying is just again saying there is nothing particular about it. We don't have any incident, any issue, and I cannot say we'll collect the money and waste it just because the federal government is disbursing cash. There is no such thing going on currently now in, you know, in Kogi State, and I will not be party and parcel to any fraudulent activity. You know, he stands in a very strong position saying there is nothing like this going on, and he stands by his words. So, my people, this is currently what is going on. Governor Bello has told, he said he's, he's, he's saying to God and to everyone who is close to Buhari should tell him the truth. He has sent a message, he said, to President Muhammad Buhari in regards to this case, that there is nothing going on. It's all a propaganda. It's all a propaganda. You know, he said, so it cannot be part and parcel of it and collect some money because it's just been shared. So, my people, what do you really think? Do you think we have this thing in Nigeria? Eh? Do you really think we have it? Or it's just, like he said, a propaganda? Some people trying to, um, you know, feel or to say that there is something going on in Nigeria. Anyway, my people, uh, your governor, okay, the 36, go the 36 governors in the Federation, as we are hearing now, apart from uh, Yahaya, governor of, of Kyogi State, who refused this $1 billion, 36 billion was disbursed by the federal government to all governors in the state in an effort to combat uh, uh, the, the, the virus. And guess what? <laughs> Some people have put their own in a cooler. Nothing is happening. You know, they've put it in a safe deposit bank, uh, in a safe deposit position for them and their families. Not minding that, you know, the, the, the people have to be looked after. You know the funniest thing in this country? Nigerians should have really had a very wonderful position if our government really utilized all that is really due us. If really the money and everything that is coming is really being utilized the way it should. Nigeria should have been a fantastic place. People should not be looking, looking forward to traveling abroad to have a better lease of life. Nigeria should have been a wonderful place where everybody, you feel comfortable. It's just mismanagement, I can tell you. You know, it's mismanagement largely. And people who don't want to tell themselves the truth. People who want to steal money and just give themselves that position that they are the elite, why the others are subordinate. If not that, you know, Nigeria is in a fantastic and a wonderful position to be able to stand with the rest of the world. Anyway, guys, until management becomes important in Nigeria, leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.